When you think of nuclear power, you're probably thinking of nuclear fission, where a heavy atom like uranium is split at the nucleus and releases large amounts of energy, but not without radioactive waste and pollution, as well as being very expensive. So let's look at the sun, which produces all its energy using another form of nuclear energy, nuclear fusion. Fusion uses light atoms like hydrogen and forces their nuclei to fuse, releasing three to four times as much energy as in fission. Unfortunately, fusion is still theoretical, as you need to put energy in before you get any out. The most promising proposed method of achieving this net energy is the tokamak design. Hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, are used as fuel. In the heart of our tokamak vessel, there is a donut-shaped vacuum chamber, where all impurities are removed from the air. Under extreme heat and pressure, our gaseous hydrogen fuel becomes plasma. Large magnet systems confine this hot plasma away from the vessel's walls. Once the plasma is brought to fusion temperature, the particles become energized and start to collide. They eventually overcome their natural electromagnetic repulsion and fuse, releasing large amounts of energy. This heat energy is absorbed into the walls and the tokamak harnesses it to make steam, turn turbines and produce electricity. The icing on the cake, the fuel is inexhaustible, low cost and available worldwide and the method produces no pollution, short-lived radioactive waste and has no risk of meltdowns.